emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hey everyone, it's Fox from Model Making Guru here and welcome to a little video, hopefully showing you how to do water slide decals. Now, if you've never made a model before and you're about to start your first one, or maybe you've made some models before and they've traditionally come with stickers, sort of adhesive stickers or dry rub transfers, you might be about to start something and be a bit worried about doing water slide decals. To people who've never done them before, they seem like some mysterious dark art uh, they seem really scary. How am I ever going to do that? It looks really complicated. They'll come out looking terrible. I'm going to make a mess of it. Ah! Don't panic. Water slide decals are really, really easy. And they're kind of the easiest way to get fantastic looking markings on your models that look painted on. With just a few little bits, you can get some fantastic results. Now, in this video, I'm not going to show you the traditional way of doing water slides. I'm going to show you a very specific method uh, for doing smaller water slides that involves strangely enough no water at all for water slide decals uh, it's perfect method for this kind of size of decal this sort of smaller markings if you've got a massive roundel that's going on the wing of your spitfire you know your 124 scale spitfire that's going to be a bit too big it's not going to work you have to use water but i'm going to show you a method that requires no water at all is a little bit faster and absolutely perfect for this kind of size of little markings they'll give you the best painted on look uh, so i'll go and get everything ready and we'll show you what to do as i go through it i will explain uh, where you would how you would use water but i won't show that i'll just show you this special method for the smaller decals but i will mention stuff as we go along back in a moment okay the first thing i need to do is explain to you what are water slide decals and how they work water slide decals are basically markings you put on your model and they have a very specific way of being used dry rub transfers you rub them onto the model stickers obviously you just stick on water slide transfers as you can see here they're printed on a sheet usually of blue or yellow paper uh, and you can see the markings on the sheet here the markings are there but there's this strange halo around them this is basically called carrier film it's, it's what the decal is printed on and then it's put onto this paper all you do basically is you traditionally use water to separate the decal and the carrier film from this backing paper you slide it onto the model and away you go and that's how these work now decals can vary these ones you can see here the backing film the carrier film is actually just a bit bigger than the actual marking itself so it conforms to the edge of the marking so this one is separate from that one that one is separate from that one and all you do is you cut out the one you want and then apply it to the model some sheets can come with just a contiguous piece of carrier film so it's just one piece of carrier film with all the markings on and if you held up to the light you wouldn't see these gaps you'd just see constant carrier film some older kits might have that and then what you'd have to do is cut out the carrier film from the piece you want but you might have to cut it a lot closer to minimize how much film is actually around the decal so before you go anywhere with them just hold it up to the light and have a look like that if you can see the film around each marking brilliant just cut that marking out you can for most models there's not much film showing around the edge so you can just not worry about it if it is a massive amount of film around it or if it's just one continuous piece of film and you, you need to trim it you need to cut it out and trim around the edge so let's go and get that started okay let's get this thing started now for this example we're going to be putting a decal on this wing here onto this part of a model uh, this is the decal we're going to apply now if you look up in the light it might not show depends on where the light is on camera um, but you really can't see a carrier film around the edge of that yellow circle at all it is there these are what's called pre-cut which means the carrier film is specific to each decal it's just very very close to the yellow it's brilliant quality decal so i can just cut this out as a square i don't have to worry about trimming it if this was a, what i call a contiguous piece of carrier film so there's no separation it's not pre-cut i would have to cut this out and then trim around the yellow circle as close as I could to make sure I had a circle of carrier film. It doesn't have to be 100% neat, but it needs to be close as you can get. So some older kits you might find that, so just have a look in the light. But this one's fine, so we can go straight in. So what do we need? Well, we need a couple of things, well a few things. We need um, two pairs of tweezers, one or two pairs. Two, I find two, two is better. This one for picking up the, the paper with the decal on and these bendy fine ones for actually moving it around and picking up the specific decal. 
try and get really fine pointy ones they'll just make your life a lot easier than big stubby things you will need two brushes and I'll explain these in a minute and you will lastly need some micro sole and micro set uh, both from micro scale industries both available on emodels.co.uk uh, there are other solutions out there there's um, uh, Mr Hobby do their Mr Mark setter and Mr Mark softer they do the same job um, I think they're available for emodels as well but yes check these out so what we're going to do traditionally what you would do is you would soak this in water for uh, warm water for maybe 10 15 30 seconds and that would separate the decal from the backing film however this is a small decal so we don't need to worry about that we want this to conform as much as possible so here's the handy trick now micro sole and micro set the best way to think of these and even i numbered the wrong this is one and this is two but i put the wrong numbers on this is what you use to get the decal to sit down properly on the surface and this is what you use once it's on there to help it bed down even more and try and reduce the carrier film now i'm going to show you an extra use for this and this is to get the decal off the backing paper instead of water it actually gives you a much faster turnaround for decals you're not messing about with water and replacing the water and dipping it in and getting it off and removing excess water you don't have to worry about that all you do is take your decal and turn it face down okay get your micro set uh, and I have a brush for Microset and a brush for Microsol. I recommend having a separate brush for each and keeping them that way, purely because they're two different products completely. One is like vinegar and one is like thinner, uh, and you don't really want to cross-contaminate them. So I'm going to get some of the Microset on my brush, quite a handy amount. And all we're going to do is we are going to completely soak the back of the decal. Now remember, this is really just for smaller decals. This wouldn't work as I knock the camera. This wouldn't work on steady the camera dear boy this wouldn't work on big massive decals possibly because it, it would they would just rip or tear as you try to manipulate them so that's on there let's just very gently turn that over okay now depends on the decal itself but what you might find is it might move straight away or it might take a few seconds so just very gently nudge it try if you've got bendy tweezers like me use them this way up so you're using the, the flat edge and not the point and you can see there this thing's moving already some decals will take up to 30 seconds maybe even a minute to come off some will be a lot faster so this is where we have to do a bit of juggling now so what we need to do is try and pick this up in the tweezers and i'm doing it with my left hand and i'm right-handed so this is quite challenging and i also can't judge depth perception let's get our model piece so what we need to do is i'm just going to try and move this decal a bit off the edge so I can grab the paper without grabbing the film pick up our decal very very carefully take your brush again get some more micro set and just get it on the back apologies for the shaky hands and the reason you're putting it on the back here is because when it goes on the model you want it to be wet so that it moves around easier and all you do is dead simply plonk it on the model now you might need to maneuver it around a bit and that's why I wet the back of the decal first just so that it's got some ability to move now this is actually wedged down quite tightly it's not quite wet enough so you don't want to force it so if it's not going to move take your brush get some more micro set and just very gently just go over the decal so the micro set goes underneath around the edges don't cover the whole model piece though because micro set microsol may damage your gloss coat and we'll explain about that it's still refusing to move just pick it up a little bit if you're fast enough you can pick it up again put a really generous coating on the back and plop it down and it just goes to show sometimes I don't get things right first time Let's see if we can move it there we go it's moving now it's just about getting it wet underneath but I'm being very very gentle now all we need to do is get that in position where we want it what I'll do, I'll make it go over this panel line a little bit just so I can show you it going into the panel line okay so that's our decal on so what we need to do next is just give it one last touch of micro set and again this is just to help it bed down go over the decal but don't go over all of the model just cover the decal and make sure you go to the edge so it can have a chance to suck underneath there we go 
I want the capillary action to pull the liquid underneath the decal. And now what we need to do is leave that for a good five or 10 minutes to dry out. Now what you'll see is sometimes you might start to see the decal wrinkle up and go all crinkly and horrible. Don't panic and don't touch it. What this stuff does is it expands and contracts the decal. So it stretches it out and squishes it back, hope, hoping that it will conform to any regular surfaces like that panel line. So if it starts to crinkle up, like you can see a little bit there, don't panic, just leave it. Go away, make a cup of tea and come back. So we're gonna let that dry and see what happens. And when we come back, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, that's had a good five or 10 minutes just to do its thing and dry. Uh, and as you might see on camera, it's a little bit lumpy, bumpy, crinkly, but that's fine. Uh, that's probably just the texture of the paint underneath and the gloss coat. And you can see on the decal next to it, uh, there is a little bit of carrier film showing on that decal next to it as I bling you out. There you go. Uh, and that's what we need to tackle next. You can also see how it's not really gone into that panel line at all. But I'm going to show you how we can do that without fiddling around with cocktail sticks and cotton buds. All you need to do is bring in the second part of the equation, and that is the micro sol, the red one. This is the second one, which I've marked as one, because I is idiot. <sighs> I know, there's no hope for me. So what you do is take your brush for micro sol, which is this black one, and in the same way we did with the micro set, you're going to go over the decal with the micro sol. Again, try and just get to the edge, just over the edge. Because again, what you want to try and do is if there are any areas where it's not quite sucked down flat to the surface, it'll pull the fluid under by capillary action. Now you can be quite generous with this stuff, but again, just try and keep it to the decal itself and just around the edge. Okay, so it's had another 10 minutes or so, and as hopefully you can see, it's looking a lot smoother now. It's starting to conform into that panel line, uh, and the clear film is removed a bit. The clear film on this part here, on this decal, that's now faded a bit more. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now it's not fully done, so what we're gonna do is gonna give it another coat of the micro sole, just exactly the same as before, and I'm locking the camera as I always do. So a bit more, just again, now it's dried, this will scrunch it up again and will help it conform to this bit here even more. Unfortunately I had to kind of edit the last video when I did this bit because there was loud noise in the background, so my apologies. Uh, but basically I just pushed the decal into the panel line with the brush when I was applying the micro sole just to help it bend downwards. Also the same kind of principle applies if you're putting a decal over a curve or a corner. Um, so we're going to leave that to sit and dry for a little while. I went a bit heavy there. It's kind of gone all over here, but never mind. We'll leave that, give another five or ten minutes, and then we'll see how it does. Basically, I'm not going to show you every single coat, but what we'll do is we'll keep doing this until the clear film is sorted out. So let's leave that to dry. Okay, so four applications of micro sol later, and as you can see, we are done. The decal looks much flatter now. It looks more like something painted on and not just a decal stuck on top. It's gone nice and flat. Uh, I did say, don't worry if it goes wrinkly crinkly. That's what the micro sol does, and it's meant to do that. And it's also bedded itself down quite nicely into the panel line here. So it looks like it goes down the, the side there and into it rather than just sitting on top of it, which wouldn't be realistic. You can see a tiny bit of the original carrier film, maybe here where it was quite shiny originally, but it's much reduced. You'll never get rid of it 100%. More often than not, you'll have a little tiny bit left. Um, but once the model's finished and you've put a gloss coat and weathered it and put a matte coat on, you won't see any of that. It'll be fine. Now that does bring me to one important thing I didn't mention at the start. Um, before you put the water slide decals on, you must always, always, always gloss coat your model. You'll see this is nice and shiny. It's very important that you always start with the gloss coat before your decals. This gives the, the model a nice smooth surface and it's very important that the decal has a nice smooth surface to go on top of. If you use a matte varnish first or if you just do it over bare paint, then you're giving it the chance to get air under the decal. The surface is very sort of rough on a microscopical level. Little pockets of air will be in there. And when you've put the decal on, it's all dried out and you've varnished over it, you'll have little frosty spots. That's called silvering and it's a bad thing. So you don't want that. Uh, using a gloss varnish helps reduce that possibility to almost none whatsoever.
Once the decals are all dried, you've left them for a couple of hours after you've put them all on and they're all set as you want them, go over again with either a gloss varnish or a matte varnish, depending on what weathering you have to come, that's entirely up to you. But just make sure you seal them in with some sort of varnish uh, just to lock them in so they're protected from handling and protected from any of the weathering that you've yet to go do on the model itself because some of the oils and enamels and things might damage the, the decal if it's not varnished. So gloss varnish your model, get the decals on, have fun with that. Once that's done, gloss varnish it or matte varnish it again and you're away with the weather in them. So that's going to wrap this little video up. As I said, this is a method best sort of considered for smaller decals. Bigger decals may rip or tear when you try and position them because they, they do get a bit weakened by the microsol and microset. So use this for smaller decals. It'll make things much faster and much easier. Uh, if you're about to do your first ever water slides, don't panic. Hopefully I've shown you it's really easy and kind of foolproof. Even if you're just applying the water and not with these, you'll be absolutely fine. But grab yourself a couple of pairs of tweezers couple of brushes and do go and grab yourself some microset and microsol they are absolutely brilliant and will take your decal setting to the next level just remains for me to say thank you for watching go have fun with your water slides it's not a dark art and until next time adios amoebas